Hello everyone, today we're hitting extended warranties and what to do when a car dealer refuses to let you cancel your extended warranty. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy and author of Is That the Best You Can Do? You have arrived at the home of super high intensity training for car buyers. Well, the amazing Elizabeth is here and we're gonna react to our great friend, Dan Whitney's video on canceling an extended warranty and what to do when you want to cancel the policy you just bought and the dealer refuses to give you a refund. This is going to be vital information for anyone who ever purchased a service plan or an extended warranty at a car dealership. As our loyal followers know, the Homework Guide channel prepares car buyers with homework and research to do before the sale. So make sure you check out all of our other amazing videos. Subscribe now and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Let's roll. All right, Dan Whitney is an amazing dealer fraud attorney and he's nailed a ton of the bad guys. Well, good for him. <laughs> Let's dive into this video on extended warranties and see what Mr. Dan Whitney has to say. This is Dan Whitney with the Whitney Law Firm in Towson, Maryland. You found this video because you're trying to figure out what to do when the car dealership refuses to cancel the warranty. So I've been a lawyer for about 10 years. Um, part of my practice is suing car dealerships. I sue them for a lot of different reasons, including when they refuse to cancel the warranty. So the first step is how did the warranty get purchased? Did the customer actually want to buy the warranty or were they deceived into thinking that they had to buy the warranty? Plenty of people want to buy warranties or vehicle service contracts or other aftermarket products that you have the right to cancel later. He's making a really valid point here about the condition yes. under which people buy an extended warranty because a lot of finance guys tell lies about the fact that you need one to begin with. So the really soft lie is to tell you that you need to protect your investment and therefore you need to get the extended warranty. But there are plenty of finance guys who will use the bank or somebody else to complain, claim that somebody else wanted the extended warranty for you and its condition of financing. So let's hear what uh, Dan mentions about this. Um, other times, the car dealership will tell a customer that uh, in order for financing to be approved, there you go. they are required to purchase the warranty, vehicle service contract, prepaid maintenance, gap insurance, whatever it is, um, as a term of um, the financing approval, because the what they'll say is the bank wants you to protect your investment. And if you don't know better or you don't know otherwise, uh, you might think, well, okay, I guess it's reasonable. I guess I, guess I have to buy this thousand, two thousand, three, four thousand dollar product. <laughs> the truth is. And, and you know what? That's, that's totally false. So no bank demands. There's, there's usually uh, products that uh, finance guys are famous for saying a banker demands. So let's give some examples of what those are. No bank will ever demand in, as a condition of financing that you have what, Liz? They'll never say you need a warranty, you need a vehicle service contract, um, prepaid maintenance plans or gap insurance. In fact, the banker wants your loan as low as possible. Why Correct. would they ever say you need more stuff on your loan? They don't want this fattened up yeah. car loan. Instead, what they want is a loan as low as possible so that their loan in you is actually protected with the highest amount of collateral as possible. So always know, that that is nothing but a big fat lie. I've not seen a bank that requires anybody to purchase a warranty or vehicle <laughs> service contract or prepaid maintenance um, or gap insurance. <laughs> He's touching Dan. all the bases. <laughs> to have their <laughs> financing approved. But it's an easy way uh, for car dealers and finance managers in particular uh, to make extra money to sell another product and to, to get their commission and overall profit to be there higher. It is, of course, money. money is the main reason for why they don't let you cancel the warranty uh, or other aftermarket product. So this is entirely why they're pushing you, this product on you is because yep. of the commission the finance manager makes on the product. It has nothing to do with protecting your investment, it has everything to do with boosting his or her commission. So usually the reason that they don't let you cancel it um, many people want to cancel within the first uh, 90 days. Sometimes it happens after, but a lot of times it's in that first 90 days after the person buys it. Then and if you're going to cancel, realize, you know what? Do it in the 90 I, I days. I don't think I really need this thing. I've got enough protection with the manufacturer's warranty, or you know, I know a good mechanic. I'd rather just, I'd rather just have my couple thousand dollars back. Yeah. Or the homework guy team said <laughs> you don't need that extended warranty or that gap insurance or that prepaid maintenance or that vehicle service plan. Yeah, right on. So you went back to go cancel it because you found out you could and that you didn't need it. And now the dealer's refusing. Well, they you can make them pay big time for this. Here's what usually happens. 
finance managers, if they're able to sell a warranty and it doesn't get canceled uh, within 90 days, 90 days is the usual industry standard. If, if a warranty gets canceled within 90 days, Pay attention. The, the commission gets taken out of the finance manager's pay plan. They're going to have to pay it back. Boom. The commission. If they were already paid on it. If they can somehow postpone it until after 90 days, um, they will get to keep all the commission they made. Of there course, what that means for the customer is they're probably not going to get a, a full 100% refund after 90 days. They might only get a pro rata uh, reduction of maybe 95 or 90 percent or something else. Um, so that's why a lot of times within 90 days the dealership will refuse because they they want to get paid. The finance manager wants to keep their money. However, um, <laughs> their money. Sometimes if it's over 90 days, the dealership uh, may simply say to itself and their employees who the customer is dealing with, "I'm not going to make any money by taking my time to process the cancellation and send it to the the product administrator." So what am I doing? I'm just not going to waste the time. And they say no. So let's go back to this 90 days really quickly. Uh, the 90 days, if it's canceled within that 90 days, the customer generally on pretty much any product you bought on your car deal, you get a 100% refund on it. And the reason they don't want to do that is because the finance guy gets hit with a commission cut. And so the tactic quite often when you go in to say you want uh, this thing refunded, and let's say you're sitting at 75 days fully expect this thing to take like three weeks to get done. And yeah. why? Because they're trying to cover that two weeks to the 90 days and with a little bit of cushion. And then all of a sudden they're more workable to getting this done. And it's because their commission doesn't come out of their pocket. But Dan makes another really important point here is that the finance guy is not getting paid to help you, the car buyer, satisfy this, this problem and take care of it. They're not getting paid to do it. And they're That's getting a commission cut if it's done within 90 days. So yeah, you're talking to somebody who doesn't want to hear what you have to say at all. Yeah, hence, uh, not customer service, N-O-T. <laughs> not customer service, exactly. Now, um, of course, the the customer has the right to cancel products uh, as long as it's in the contract terms, and it usually is. Almost um, always is. And customers should know that they have legal rights and that when a dealership refuses to honor the terms of the contract and refuses to process cancellation, the customer has legal rights and they can fight back. And usually the best way to do that is to hire an experienced attorney and sue the like dealership. Dan. A lot of times they ignore letters because there's no there's no concern. Plenty yep. of people write letters and it's easy to ignore them. They ignore your letters. They ignore your emails. They ignore your phone calls. You they don't can care. show up at the dealership. Yep. The guy's not available. He's busy doing this, that, or the other thing. Yeah, they're, they're ignoring you and delaying for the reasons that we've already discussed. It's not so easy to ignore a lawsuit, which is why what I do mm -hmm. is I usually just file the lawsuits. That gets their t attention much more quickly. <laughs> so I hope this has been, has been helpful. If you have any more questions um, or if you need a free consultation, which all of our consultations are, uh, feel free to call us. We handle cases uh, primarily in Maryland. Uh, this is Dan Whitney with the Whitney Law Firm in Towson. Um, you can call us at 410-583-1000 or visit our website at www.whitneyfirm.com. Uh, thanks a lot, and I'll, I'll see you next time. Take care. Now, you know why Dan Whitney's consultations are free. In fact, you are not charged a dime to hire an attorney like him. So remember, we've shared that um, under the Consumer Protection Act, there's a provision that if a car dealership is sued by a consumer, that the dealer has to pay the attorney fee. The so you're not out anything. Fees. Yeah. Just a little bit of time, but you get your you can get your problem resolved. The attorney's taken care of by, by the dealership, and it's a win for everybody, and you get to smack it to those dealers who are doing fraud. Oh, totally, totally yeah. it is. Yes, and, and and the beauty of this is, is if, if you've seen Dan Whitney's uh, channel, and we'll have the guys throw it up on the screen here so you can see it, um, go to Dan Whitney's channel. You'll see several different settlements of some pretty substantial amounts that he's gotten for clients. 100% of that money went into the customer's pocket. Yes. And why? Because the Consumer Protection Act forces the dealer to have to pay the attorney fee. So how nice is that? And so let's just recap a couple of things. No bank will ever require as a condition of financing for you to have a warranty, for you to have prepaid uh, maintenance, for you to have a service uh, vehicle service contract or to buy gap insurance. That is complete nonsense when they tell you this stuff. So going back to Dan's point in the beginning, the condition of the sale actually has a lot to do with uh, a substantial settlement when this is all said and done. If they lied to you about claiming that financing was contingent on these things, 
This is exactly what I do. I would write a note. I would write a note right there. As soon as this finance guy says it, I would write it out. And I would say, the bank requires me to have an extended warranty as a condition of financing. Write the person's name under it and slide the piece of paper across the table to them and tell them, sign that for me. They ain't going to do it. Yep. They ain't going to do call it. Call the bluff, man. Yeah, call the bluff. So whatever they tell you, their BS story, write it out on a piece of paper, slide it across the desk of them and say, sign and date right there and I'll get your extended <laughs> warranty. You're starting to sound like the amazing Elizabeth, Kevin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, force it. Force them to uh, put some put a signature behind that claim. And and you know what? The fact of the matter is, is you can do it with any other BS story they tell you in finance. Always write out what they tell you, put their name down there in the date and make them sign it. Watch them back away from their lie really quickly. Yep. Well, I hope all of you learned a ton about your rights after you bought the extended warranty and what to do about it if you should decide after the fact that you didn't want it and you want a refund. Yeah, it's your money, so go ask for it. Get an attorney and sue them and you have the right to. And Consumer Protection Act forces yes. the dealer to pay those attorney fees. All right, if you appreciate our video today, consider giving us that great big thumbs up and please always remember to comment on our videos. We like to reply to as many comments as we can. Comments really matter because they help boost the search algorithms and help others find this amazing content too. Add hashtag the homework guide to your comment. And if you're on other platforms, look for us out there. There's a list of options here on the screen and they're linked in the description box below. If you're new here, make sure you check out all the other videos that we have. We've reached over 45 million people and you might as well benefit from the great content too. And if you love what we do and want to contribute with a tip, well, PayPal and Cash App links you see here will be easy to find in that description box below, as well as on our website. And thanks to all of you who do that. It's always awesome, but no problem if you can't do a tip. The best way to help us out is to share this video with your family and friends so they can get just as lucky as you and encourage everyone to subscribe. And remember, ring that notification bell. Ding, ding, ding. You <laughs> won't miss a thing. The entire Homework Guy team is here to represent you, the car buyer, and that's exactly what we do. Well, thanks everyone for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter with The Amazing Elizabeth. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.